You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's meditation for the heart titled Saying I am not a racist is not enough. If we took a poll of all people living in the United States of America and perhaps around the world, and if we asked on that poll if they consider racism to be an evil thing, most people would probably say that it is. Racism is a very destructive and corrupting force. So it makes sense why people will reject it. In the United States of America, many blacks, natives, and Hispanics have suffered tremendously because of racism. So, if you ask that question to the primary recipients of such horrendous hatred, they will certainly tell you even personal stories about how they have been adversely affected by racism and why they consider it evil indeed. Now, most white Americans have never had to endure racism. However, that does not mean that they do not realize that there is a destructive force behind racist thinking and that for that reason many whites do not favor it. Yet, I will be quite honest with you. I am deeply concerned about racism in America and I am concerned about how many are deluding, deluding themselves into thinking that racism is something for the history books, something that no longer needs to be dealt with. Usually, when a black person, a Hispanic person, and any other minority complains about racism, the first thing many white people do is dismiss their claims. Now, this could be because they honestly believe that racism no longer exists. It could be because they know racism is a repugnant and poisonous crime against God and do not want to deal with it. Or, it could be because they have found this tactic efficient on taking the voice of the oppressed away from them. In any case, this is the attitude that those who have the power, the majority, those who can make changes, 
often take when confronted with the question of racism. Of course, all people will immediately say, but I, I am not a racist. Very few people will admit to partaking of such a horrendous sin. However, saying I am not a racist is not enough. Why do I say this? I say it because in recent days, the rejection and degradation of blacks, Hispanics, and other protected classes was front and center in America. While not all these degrading incidents that took place were considered racism, some were bigotry, hate of women, and just plain hatred, they do connect back to the basic repulsive notion that a human being is inferior to another in some way. The problem with that is that if a person should think racist and demeaning thoughts against another, he or she is spitting in the face of God. For God does not make garbage. Every human being, black, white, Puerto Rican, Muslim, female or male, was distinctly and carefully created out of love by God. Worse yet, when a believer stands by as those who spit on God's face reject his human creation, he or she is guilty of a greater crime. After all, God has given you the honor to stand in the midst of rebellion against Him and to give testimony about His love to the world. He's given you the opportunity to defend His love. Yet, even though you know you were presented with that honor, many of you chose to stand on the side of rebellion. Many of you opted to support racism and all forms of hatred towards other humans. And you did so in great numbers. This was a horrible thing. However, it is not too late. You still can stand up and be a voice for those who have less power. Honor God by defending all people. There is still time to rectify things. I pray that the Lord God will use people, especially white people, since they control the power structure, to speak loudly against racism, to push back on the notion that racism is a lesser, lesser evil and that it no longer exists. 
sings my voice as a black man and as a Puerto Rican is already being muted by the dismissive voices of those who stand still against this rebellion against Almighty God. I pray that their status in life can help those who have the power defend the sanctity of life of all of God's children. I also pray the Lord's mercy be upon those who are feeling rejection and pain because of racism. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. This concludes today's meditation title. Saying I am not a racist is not enough. I'm glad that you were able to come by and listen. To find out more about our ministry, go to our website at sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. Also, if you want to join forces with me, if you are one of the so many lucky ones who have have not had to deal with racism in your life, at least not against you. We need your help. We need to hear your voice before it's too late. Before we have to go back.